YouTube, it's Tommy here. So, I decided to do another cooking video. I know a lot of you guys love these videos. A few days ago, I was strolling on Facebook, and I hardly ever get on Facebook because every time I get on there, it'd be some dumb stuff, some stupid stuff, just some random stuff. Like, I saw this really cool video of, um, it was a BuzzFeed video, and they basically made beef and broccoli. Um, with this side of rice and I was like yo that looks really good and I said that I could try that I'm gonna be using my crock pot because it is a slow cooker meal so I have my crock pot here and I'm gonna put the ingredients in here and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make it um the recipe is me following exactly their steps so I'm just gonna show you my version <laughs> the ingredients that you're gonna need are four line steak or some chuck steak thinly sliced Hey YouTube, it's Tommy here. So, I decided to do another cooking video. I know a lot of you guys love these videos. A few days ago, I was strolling on Facebook, and I hardly ever get on Facebook because every time I get on there, it'd be some dumb stuff, some stupid stuff, just some random stuff. Like, I saw this really cool video of, um, it was a BuzzFeed video, and they basically made beef and broccoli. Um, with this side of rice and I was like yo that looks really good and I said that I could try that I'm gonna be using my crock pot because it is a slow cooker meal so I have my crock pot here and I'm gonna put the ingredients in here and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make it um the recipe is me following exactly their steps so I'm just gonna show you my version <laughs> the ingredients that you're gonna need are soy line steak or some chuck steak thinly sliced so I got this from Walmart it was six 13. I need some soy sauce. I got the low sodium kind. Beef broth. Sesame seed oil. The recipe also called for four cloves of garlic minced, but I had some minced garlic already in my refrigerator. Broccoli. They actually used the head of broccoli and just cut it from there like a fresh broccoli, but your girl just got the steam in the bag. Broccoli. It's okay. It's okay. And then you're just gonna need some brown sugar. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the broth part. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the beef broth. This is one cup. The recipe calls for one cup and I'm just gonna pour it in here. Half a cup of soy sauce. One fourth cup of brown sugar. One tablespoon sesame seed oil. Next, the recipe calls for four cloves of garlic minced, but I looked up a line and a clove of garlic is equal to a half a tablespoon of minced garlic in a jar, so I just need four one-half tablespoons. So this was supposed to cook on um, low heat, but I turned it on high just for the time being since I'm actually like recording. I wanted to make it move a little faster, and now I'm just going to cover. Okay guys, so it's now time to slice up this sorlon tip steak and put it on the plate and transfer it over. I am a college student who does not have nice cookware. This is a butter knife. Okay, five minutes later, all the meat is finally cut up. Some of the pieces are bigger than others, but I don't know, I just wanted it to be kind of different sizes, so I'm just going to go over and add this to the broth. Okay guys, so the only thing that I've noticed about the dish so far is that the sesame seed oil is really loud like it smells really loud and i actually got some of my shirt um it smells familiar though it smells familiar so i may can cook some stuff with it i don't know but yeah it smells super familiar but um it's kind of loud and i'm not really sure how it tastes yet so i'm, I'm a, little, a little lost but i don't know so if you really don't like sesame seed oil then you may want to cut the amount that you're using in half but so far that's the only thing um so now that we've just added the beef in there the next thing that we need to do um and i'm gonna let it cook for a low in like an hour or two and then i'm gonna put it on high because i ain't got four hours okay <laughs> and then i'm gonna come back and um add the next part of the mix in there so you guys see so now it's time to cook the rice so i went to my friend's room and borrowed this boiler because i didn't have a really big one so just gonna i'm gonna use this brand rice 
And I'm going to do two cups of rice. Add four cups of water. Now I'm putting the rice on medium heat. I'm just going to add some butter. I'm going to add more at the end and then I'm just going to add a few shakes of salt. I'm going to let that do what it do for about. So now I'm just going to add some butter to it. Just a little more or a lot of more. Just making sure that it's nice and fluffy. Okay guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. You can see the sauce is so much thicker now and it looks really good. It smells nice too. So I'm gonna have my friends taste test it. Okay, wait, the presentation though, dang. Oh my Jesus, okay. <laughs> you messing with a hungry person. Mmm, <laughs> you're pretty nice. Oh, what does it taste up. like? Um, hold on. <laughs> Go hot. <laughs> I can't really explain what it's Yeah, I see like. this stack right here. See this stack of rice? I tried to be like the people on the video and be fancy. Yeah. It kind of tastes like um, a little bit moving. like the Chinese food that we have in the calf. Really? But not exactly. Not exactly. Like the chicken and broccoli. It's chicken and broccoli, but it's beef and broccoli. But your overall thoughts, what would you rate it? Probably get this like a seven and a half, eight. Okay. But it's hot though. It's just done. <laughs> okay, guys. So it's time for my taste test. My friends are adding salt. I really like it. I would give it a nine out of ten. <laughs> But, like, for real though, <laughs> I'm basic, you know, y'all already know I'm basic, so I don't require a lot of extra stuff in my food. I'm the most basic as it gets, um, so this is perfect for me. It's, it's simple. It's just, the flavor is nice. Like, I thought the brown sugar was going to be too much. Like, I thought it was going to make it really sweet, but it doesn't really taste sweet. But there's a hint of sweetness in it. But I really like the broccoli though. I like the broccoli with the sauce. That's really good. So, I think you guys should try it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this addition to Cooking with Tommy. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.